All right, at this time what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about this black black thing across your desk. It is called a T-square. This piece right here is a T-square. I'm going to tell you how this, this thing functions. There is a, a black knob typically on the left and the right side, and there's also a black knob in the upper right-hand corner. The black knobs on the left and right, some of them are broken or, or don't work very well, but if you tighten those down, it'll keep the T-square from moving up and down. Right now, the T-square should move freely up and down. All right, so if you tighten those knobs, then it will be tight and you can't move it at all. So if, the, if you ever come in and this thing it won't move very well, check these two knobs first. If you come in and the T-square is crooked, like such, if it is crooked on your table, then what we're looking at there is, is this upper right-hand corner knob. What we'd want to do at this point would be bring it down all the way and kind of level it out. And then in this upper right hand corner, you want to loosen this knob and pull the, the string underneath the knob and then tighten it down. And what that does is it keeps it from moving diagonally. This way is going to be fine. It's going to keep moving this way no matter what. All right, so what we're going to do now with this T-square is we're going to square up and tape down our piece of paper. Notice it is landscape going left or right. It is not a portrait up and down. So we're going to use this plexiglass edge here, and we're going to line up our paper with the plexiglass edge. Once we line that paper up with the plexiglass edge with no gaps or anything in it, uh, what we're not looking for, this is an over-exaggeration, obviously, with a big gap here. You don't even want a, a small gap of an eighth of an inch or anything. You just want to keep it lined up as best that you can. And then it does not take a whole lot of tape to tape these things down. You want to tape each corner down. And you want to do each corner instead of like in the middle because otherwise when you run this thing up, the T-square up and down, it will catch one of the corners and rip the paper and then you're starting over again. So tape down each corner. Uh, it doesn't need a whole lot of tape when you're doing it. And now at this point, what we just did is we squared up our paper with our T-square. So no matter what, wherever we have our this plexiglass edge on our paper, the paper is 100% perpendicular with it. Now what we're going to do from here is we're going to create a border and a title block around this page. We have not talked about a ruler yet, but so I'm getting maybe a smidge ahead of myself, but I want to be able to talk about this a little bit and get us moving before uh, we actually get into reading the ruler. You're going to find in the upper left hand corner of your ruler a 16. And, and what that's going to represent is every one of those marks between the 0 and the 1 is 16th of an inch. So what we're looking at here is we're looking to measure in a half of an inch all the way around. We're going to start from the 0 point and we're going to count over 8 marks. So 8 sixteenths is a half right to here. Once we have that we're going to put those marks on our paper going around. So we're going to start with the paper at the zero point, not the end of the ruler, but at the zero point. Zoom back out. So at this point, again, a half of an inch all the way around the paper. Now what this allows us to do is to use our T-square and draw this line straight going across the piece. Notice I didn't measure down a half, measure down a half and try to use my ruler to guesstimate. I measured one time down to the half of an inch and then I'm using my T-square, which is the whole reason why we tape the piece of paper down to create a border. Now that was my two horizontal lines. Any, any up and down lines I'm going to make, I'm going to use a triangle. It could be this one or the other type. And you're going to butt the triangle up to the T-square and use it for a straight up and down line from here to here. So what we have done at this point is created a border around our entire part that is a half of an inch all the way around. Now to get the title block, because it's a border and a title block, we're going to measure up another half of an inch from the line that we just drew on the bottom. Bring our T-square down. And this gives us where we're going to be putting our name and the drawing number and such. So what we just created here is a half inch border all the way around the piece. 
and a half of an inch from that border up a title block which will allow us to place our name in there. I would like you also to place a, like a, a straight up and down line. I don't necessarily care where at this point. Just leave yourself enough room. So this is where you would write your name at and the drawing number that you're about to do, which you don't have a drawing number yet. So you would leave this side blank. To do the very first assignment we're going to do, one, we created a border and title block just like this, but now we're going to do a, 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 a we're going to make marks a quarter of an inch down on this part to be able to put the text inside of here. Typically, this is, this is what you want to start with every single day you come in here when we do things on board. But for the assignment purposes, what we're going to do, we're going to label down a quarter of an inch all the way down the paper. And with that said, quarter of an inch is four sixteenths, which is four marks from the zero. And you're just going to keep marking off a quarter of an inch all the way down the page. You probably don't have to go all the way down the page. If you just do like 15 or 20 of them, that would work. And now from here, we are going to use our T-square and draw really, really light lines. These lines are called guidelines because they are there to guide you. They are not there to be a part of the drawing and be really, really dark. So I'm doing them really light here. You might not even be able to see them on the video. And again, these lines are there to guide my text. So what I'm looking to do is my text is going to be a quarter of an inch big all down through my paper. So the very first thing we're going to put on here is our name. And again, my text, let me see if I can zoom in on that, will be the size of those lines. I'm going to skip a line. We're going to put in our address. We're in all caps right now. And then I want you to put your phone number. And all your text is all caps and complete quarter of inch spacing the entire way up and down. And then finally, who your parent or guardian is on your piece of paper. So for this very first assignment, it is a, a text assignment. You're putting a border and title block on here, and then you're going to draw quarter inch lines coming down from the top, and then you're going to do give me four things, your name, your address, your phone number, and your parent or guardian, whom, uh, where you go home to.